Hello cookbook friend, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas, and I picked up Shroom from my local library, Mind-Bendingly Good Recipes for Cultivated and Wild Mushrooms by Becky Selengut. I am a vegetarian and I love mushrooms and I end up eating a lot of mushrooms because people like to substitute those for meat in some dishes. This came out in 2014, so it'll be interesting to see the quote-unquote old-fashioned photography. It is Andrews McMeal Publishing, one of our favorite cookbook publishers. Let's check out the table of contents. Acknowledgements, forward, introduction, of course, button, Cremini and Portobello mushrooms. Chapter two is beach. I don't know what that is. Not like the beach, but B-E-E-C-H. Chapter three, oyster mushrooms. Chapter four, king trumpet. Chapter five, shiitake, and then maitake. Chapter 7 is Lion's Mane. Oh, there's little pictures of them. Chapter 8, Morel. Chapter 9, Chanterelle. Chapter 10, Hedgehog. Then Porcini or Porcini. Lobster mushrooms, black trumpet mushrooms, truffles, Matsutake mushrooms, and then why eat them random wild shrooms is a really, really, really bad idea. They probably should put that at the front of the book. I don't personally forage for mushrooms, but I do live near the woods and the forest, and people forage around me, but I'm scared of the poisonous ones. So let's get in. Here's the introduction, how to use this book, basics, a picture of the woods. That woods looks different than my Pacific Northwest woods. Ingredients, recommended cooking equipment, ooh, some step-by-step -step photos, freezing mushrooms 101, yeah. Rehydrating Mushrooms 101. What shroom are you? A personality quiz, I guess. <laughs> okay. Chapter one, Button, Cremini, and Portobello. There's definitely the three mushrooms I am most familiar with. Tips on buying them, cleaning them, storing them. Good. Button, mushroom, walnut, and pomegranate spread with Serrano chili. Is there a picture? Nope. Portobello shakshuka, my favorite breakfast dish, with baked eggs and Israeli feta. That sounds amazing. Here's roasted portobello tacos with cacao chili sauce and cabbage and lime slaw. Is there a picture? No. Bon mi sandwiches with red curry roasted portobellos and pickled vegetables. Sounds amazing. So I'm going to skip ones that don't have pictures. I'm skipping a lot. Okay, we're already in the beach mushroom chapter. Okay, info on storing them, etc. Here's sweet potato soup with lime leaves, beach mushrooms, basil, and peanuts. I didn't, I think I, I think we call these beach mushrooms by a different name at stores in the Pacific Northwest. I could be wrong. Sesame miso broth with caramelized beach mushrooms and wakame. The lots of Asian influences here. And in Seattle, we have lots of Asian food stores and places to get really interesting mushrooms. Okay, new chapter, oyster mushrooms. I like cooking with those. Tips on storage. Crispy striped bass with oyster mushrooms, delicata squash, and green beans, but no picture. Spicy black bean, poblado, and oyster mushroom burgers with red onion jam. Hello, vegetarians. This is our chapter. This is our page. Oysters Rockefeller. Oyster mushroom and corn empanadas. That sounds good. Already in the King, King Trumpet chapter. Okay, what do you do with them? King Trumpet Toast with Gouda, Apricot Jam, and Arugula. I wish there was more pictures. Here's Grilled King Trumpet Mushrooms with Orange and Black Pepper. Mmm. How about King Trumpet Scallops with Carrot Puree, Leek, and Parsley Vinaigrette? Good for vegetarians. We're already in the shiitake chapter. This is going by quickly. I need to show you less of this book because I can't show you the whole thing. Beautiful picture. Shiitake Noodle Salad with Nook Chom and Herbs. Is that Thai? No, Vietnamese. Okay. Well, oh, here's Dan Dan noodles with shiitakes, pork, pickled mustard and greens, and spicy chili oil. I would substitute tofu for the pork or more mushrooms. My taki. Um, clay pot my taki and bok choy with sake and ginger sauce. No picture. My taki, pancetta, and port soaked dried cherry stuffing. Are there any pictures in this entire chapter? Yes. Meitake Tikka Masala. It does not look appetizing in the photo, but I bet it's delicious. Lion's Mane. I am not very familiar with this mushroom. I've eaten it at fancy restaurants. I've never cooked with it. 
roasted lion's mane and cauliflower with zante currants and red onion. Can I just use any kind of currant? Lion's mane with lemon, garlic, butter, and vermouth. Ooh. Seared scallops with lion's mane. For those of you that eat fish. Wok seared lion's mane with bok choy, squid, and roasted red chili paste. No squid for me, please. Now we're into the morel mushrooms. Let me just find an example. How about fried duck eggs with artichoke and morel salad? Does that sound good? How about... Now we're in the chanterelle chapter because there were so few pictures. Okay. Uh, aquacotta soup with chanterelles and garlic on toast. I don't know what aquacotta is. Hmm. I need to look that up. Roasted chanterelles and bacon with sweet corn sauce. How good does that look? I bet you bacon lovers are freaking out right now. Like, yay! Okay, now we're in the hedgehog mushroom chapter. Cow soy noodles with hedgehog mushroom curry and crispy egg noodles. Lots of Asian influences here. Here's a hog and bacon omelet or pizza with smoked hedgehog mushroom, slow roasted tomatoes, and fontina. That sounds good. Porcini mushrooms, porcini salad with pine nuts and lemon something, salt, oh, yum. Uh, lobster mushrooms, don't know what those are. Grilled lobster mushrooms, tandoori style. I'm showing a picture of a forager. Here's Thai sweet and sour soup with lobster mushrooms, lemongrass, and shrimp. For those of you adventurous enough to make that at home, now we're in the black trumpet mushroom chapter. For example, black trumpet and roasted poblano chilaquiles with crema. Yum, I love chilaquiles. So now we have some Mexican influences. Okay, now truffle. I don't cook with truffles often. They're expensive. Here's truffle gougiers. Mmm, French influence. Yum. Okay, I think we're almost done. Oh, matsutake mushrooms. Don't know what to do with those. How about grilled matsu takis with rosemary, salt, and lemon? Yum, sounds good to me. And we are at the end of the book. Wow, okay. I needed way more pictures, but there were lots of approachable recipes. If you can get a hold of the un more unusual mushrooms, do it. Of course, be careful. Don't forage for them for yourself if you don't know what you're doing, because you can get major liver, liver damage and die. So. Thanks for watching this cookbook look through and review from Cookbook Divas. You can see more of them on our website, cookbookdivas.com. We also have a podcast. We post videos to Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. Bye!